Ford's CEO's Jim Farley's taking a short at Elon Musk was quite surprising, considering how modest Ford is doing with their production numbers. So, was it a direct sign of seeking attention and recognition from the major public? Or has Ford really got ahead of everybody, including Tesla? Does he not know that Tesla Cybertruck has more pre-orders than any other upcoming electric car in the world? Ford's CEO seems to have really wanted a reaction from Elon Musk and knew what he was doing. While Cybertruck is still not in production, Ford is truly ahead of Tesla when it comes to electric pickup trucks. Elon Musk may be famous for not meeting his set targets regarding production dates, but he has explained over time that it's all for good. More often than not, delays result from circumstances beyond his and company's control. A few weeks ago, Musk finally revealed the next generation of the Tesla Cybertruck. He mentioned that the production would begin in 2023, instead of the initial release date. The statement sparked the fire in the tech industry and got everybody talking, as expected. One of such statements that caught our attention is that made by the CEO of Ford Motors, Jim Farley. He said Ford was truly on a mission to lead an electric and digital revolution for the people, not the few. And he added that the bright spot for Ford is this stunning lightning built just down the road in Dearborn, right there in the state of Michigan, already the market leader among electric pickup trucks in the United States. Farley concluded his speech by raining praises on the lightning, and then he said, Take that, Elon Musk. A deliberate jab at the person, his company, and his fans, who he knew too well would react to this. Here is a quick update. Tesla announced and debuted the Cybertruck long before the F-150 Lightning. However, the all-electric F-150 hit the market in May of 2022, and the Cybertruck has been postponed even further. Elon Musk claims it will be available in 2023. In any case, Musk took to Twitter to respond by saying, Thanks, but I already have one. It might be somewhat challenging to understand what Musk is referring to right away, but considering how often he jokes around on Twitter, he probably was talking about his own Cybertruck, the prototype 001. Tesla and Ford have had similar wars in the past, notably on the delicate subject of both firms' truck products. The CEOs are always at the forefront of this attack, which points to their companies and not themselves. Tesla's planned Cybertruck, for example, made a cameo in 2019 in a funny video depicting the truck tugging a Ford F-150 gasoline-powered pickup up a hill during a tug-of-war. Back then, the Ford vice president called the battle unjust and challenged Musk to a head-to-head -head test. Such a competition will ignite wars like this, more importantly as Ford has released its first all-electric F-150 Lightning. Later, Ford's VP also criticized Tesla for lousy quality control without identifying the electric vehicle company directly. Musk's admission that the car sector is challenging is a breath of new air. It appears that both Ford and Tesla and their customers are likely to profit from a good dose of market rivalry. To be honest and fair, Farley also lauded Tesla and Musk on several occasions. Indeed, the Ford's CEO is one of the few who publicly credits Tesla for Ford's present EV success. On the other hand, Tesla's CEO has previously praised Farley and Ford, even going as far as to applaud the company. Furthermore, Musk has often reminded the public that despite years of growing barriers, Ford and Tesla are the two only US manufacturers that have avoided bankruptcy. Farley retweeted Musk's post, adding merely, respect. Twitter users also reacted with likes, retweets, and of course, some heated comments. It is evident that traditional corporate communication etiquette has now shrunk itself to 140 characters or even fewer. It is fascinating how social media has evolved into a crucial mode of communication for politics, business, and everything else. It works best when everyone is polite. 
and that tweet proves that industry can be competitive yet courteous. From his tweet, Musk is silently admitting the bankruptcy of General Motors and Chrysler, both of which are now owned by Stellantis. Ford, however, has long been proud of its ability to stay afloat in the harshest of times, such as the Great Recession that happened some decades ago. Tesla, launched in 2003, has led the electric car industry with models such as the Model S, Model 3, Model X, and Model Y. The product range is dubbed sexy by fans. In general, Tesla and Ford Motor Company have very few things in common. Ford is one of the world's oldest and most successful vehicle manufacturers. It was established 100 years before Tesla. Tesla is a new and most advanced electric car and home energy solution and a technology company. It's also working on self-driving vehicles and other game-changing innovations like Robotaxi. There are a number of similarities between the two. Tesla, led by Elon Musk, dominates the EV market. However, Ford is making inroads into the sector with EV versions of its iconic Mustang and F-150 vehicles. Both firms are valued in billions of dollars. Still, Tesla has surpassed the legacy automaker by a lot, with a company valuation of approximately $800 billion in 2022. Ford has a lengthy history in the worldwide car manufacturing sector. It is a well-known brand with operations in over 125 countries worldwide. Tesla concentrates on customer sales and has just approximately 40 sales outlets worldwide, while Ford Motor Company offers a wide range of internal combustion and commercial cars Mac E and F-150 Lightning are the closest to Tesla's products. However, Tesla is 100% electric. Since Ford is trying to become like Tesla at this moment in time, it still has much to do and show after that Lightning truck reveal. The Tesla Model Y, which was released in 2019, continues to sell very well for Tesla. This compact electric SUV has lots of storage space, aesthetics, and technology capabilities for a cutting-edge consumer experience. Its direct rival, the Ford Mach-E, is a completely redesigned Mustang. This isn't the supercharged pony vehicle you grew up fantasizing about. On the other hand, the Mach-E is totally electric SUV with five seats and various contemporary technologies that vary based on the model type. Overall, the customer experience provided by both SUVs is quite comparable. The Mach-E has somewhat better ratings for interior comfort. Still, the Model Y beats it in terms of peak speeds and overall handling. Both have an extensive charging station network and remarkable driver assist systems for safety and convenience. In yet another head-to-head -head battle between these automotive titans, these two EV pickup trucks seem to be category competitors. The Cybertruck is not yet ready for production, but is scheduled to be available in 2023. This unique boxy vehicle inspires strong emotions and is crammed with current design elements. The Ford F-150 Lightning began rolling off the manufacturing line in early 2022. This futuristic take on an all-time favorite pickup truck is an excellent option for Ford fans, EV enthusiasts, or anybody who enjoys cutting-edge technology. Although both vehicles' prices seem comparable, Cybertruck's introductory price includes just one motor. The F-150 Lightning comes standard with two engines. The tri-motor Cybertruck has greater power, but it will cost you at least $69,900. Elon Musk and Tesla are unquestionably more successful in electric vehicles, producing the most popular EV models. In addition, Elon has an enormous amount of wealth, which he uses to fly rockets on weekends. Ford and its new and ambitious CEO are manufacturing many different cars every year, but they openly want to follow Tesla's lead to become a fully electric company at some point in the future. Ford seems to only focus on its F-150 Lightning truck from now on. Is that a good decision to grab as much market share before Cybertruck comes out? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.